everybody, Debbie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every view and I just love the comments and the interaction that I get from my subscribers on my channel. Well, a like what an amazing group of people. So I have a Dollarama haul today. It's not massive by any means, but I picked up a few items. Now I'm just packing my car up to head back to the East Coast. Uh, unless I get called back to work in the next few days and that changes, but right now that's my plan. I haven't heard anything from work yet. I tend to check with them just before I leave to see if I'm going to be going back. Um, yeah, things are not very busy there yet. So uh, let's just get on with this haul. So I didn't get much in the way of groceries or anything like that, but I did pick up, uh, I picked up half a dozen bottles of this water. I absolutely love this water. Uh, and this is the lemon flavor, the natural lemon flavor. I drink regular lemon water all the time, but this is carbonated and it's a dollar a bottle for a liter bottle. So I, it's the same price as the grocery store, but I was there. So I picked it up and that's, I didn't buy any food other than that. I did buy, however, a half a dozen of these light bulbs. Now they just say Luminous, and I don't know if that's the brand name or not, but they're LED light bulbs. I'll show you right there. Turn it a little bit in case there's a glare, but um, yeah. So it says ideal for table lamps, floor lamps. I put them in all my fixtures, every single light fixture in my house. These are the daylight ones. They have such a bright, vivid light. They tend to not change the colors of things like the soft white do and uh, some of the other light bulbs. These keep things bright. I mean, it's like they say, they're, they're daylight. So it's like having something out in the sun, nice and bright and fresh and clean. So that's the light these give off. We're listing our house. I want everything to look its best and everything to look bright. So I want nice, bright white light bulbs in all my fixtures. That'll show things off to their best advantage. So I purchased these before. I grabbed two of them a while back and wanted to do a DIY with them, but I need, I want four all together, but this is my third one. I only found the one at this time. So I'll go into another Dollarama and look for one more of these because I want four of these. I want four of these wooden houses. So well, let's go back to the light bulbs were $4. Um, that's not a bad price for those light bulbs. The exact same ones, a different brand, but the exact same wattage and everything is $7.99 at my local hardware store. And those are four, so half the price. These are three bucks a piece, but I, I want them, guys. I just, I really, really want them. And I also picked up, and this is a different little item. But I had this idea. So I picked up four packages of these men's boot laces. So four packages. They're $1.50 each. And they are 72 inches long. And they're quite heavy cord. So I picked them up because I was thinking I can use this cordage. This is really, really strong because it's for men's work boots. So I'm gonna use this cordage for some plant hangers. So if you want to see that, go on over and hit that subscribe button right now while you're thinking about it and, um, and come back and join me when I do this. It should be within the next week or so, maybe two weeks, but hopefully within the next week or so that I can get that video up. And yeah, if you want to make what I'm making, go grab yourself some of these and have them ready. 
So, yeah, 72 inches, and you get two of them in each package for $1.50. That's not bad. So, in the crafting um, section, I also got these rhinestone strips. So these are absolutely gorgeous. Look at, I'm gonna try to get in really close so you can see them. Look at how, they look like little wings, but look how beautiful they are. And there's four strips for $2. These are much larger than the rhinestone strips that you usually get. They're a very unique shape and style. And I have an idea, as soon as I saw them, I had an idea, so that'll be closer to Christmas maybe and uh, but wait till you see that that's gonna be a really good one so in the craft section I also picked up some little wooden words and these were a dollar a package there's 24 pieces in a package they're by craft the craft brand and they just say wooden words so there's 24 pieces in each package, but they all say the same word. So I picked up Believe. Let's see, shake these up and see if I can read these. Believe, Friends, Welcome, Family, and Home. So five packages. These were all the words that they had. Nice. But my thoughts with these are that I will use them to glue down on small art pieces, the, uh, artist trading coins and artist trading cards, the little passbook stamps. These would be great in pocket letters. These also really great because they're so light and so small to send in friend mail. So very cute, very fun for small art pieces. That'll be great. Okay, so I picked up, I picked up this little jar. Uh, it's a little mason jar. It's about the size of a pint. And it has the twine, the gardening twine in it. Now this is a big jar, or big, this is a big roll of twine. This was $4. So it's the jar, it has the hole in the top so that you can pull the twine through. But I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take this off. So the nice substantial sized roll of twine and these little metal handled scissors. I just wanted to pull this all apart. So these are kind of like a Tim Holtz knockoff. Teeny tiny little scissors. But let's see. I don't know how sharp they are. Oh, they're sharp. So great little gardening scissors to go with. Sticks right in the top in the hole. To go with your twine. So, But I got that for my craft room. I think that'll be great. So this twine here is larger, it's a, a larger dimension, and uh, it just says jute rope. So this is 15 yards for $1.25. I think that that's a pretty good buy, and it's craft as well. So everything is that I've got here is in this craft brand. So I'm thinking that that maybe that craft brand may be what um, Dollarama is going to start carrying. And I've seen a lot of people hauling craft things from Dollar Tree as well. So almost everything that I've got here so far in that section is from craft. And I picked up this lace craft. And it is the crocheted lace. Now I've got a few of these different crocheted lace rolls, but this one is a little bit different pattern. And these are so pretty on projects. Just so, so pretty. Okay. And I picked up four cans of this Zytec Germ Buster Sanitizer Spray. So if you're looking for hand sanitizer, 
go to the Dollarama because I've been finding it there. I've been finding tons of it there and no, no problem running out of stock, it seems. This one is $4. My husband and I both love this because it's so easy to apply. You just spray it all over your hands and then wait. It takes about 30 seconds to dry. You know it's killing all the germs. It's doing its job. And this one is 80% alcohol, so you know it's strong enough as well. Love that. Also, made in Canada. It doesn't say, it doesn't say distributed in Canada. It actually says made in Canada. So you know that it passes all the requirements that it has to have. And this one, this one says distributed through Quebec but it doesn't say made in Canada, but I checked the ingredients on this one and this one seems, it doesn't have any of the denatured alcohols in it that are, have been taken off the shelf. So this one seems good as well. So a hand sanitizer gel, and this is a nice clear gel. And we're gonna put, my husband and I want a good supply in our vehicles. So we put, one of these in the door slot on the passenger side and the driver's side in all of our vehicles. So even if we pick somebody up, they have theirs to use as well. I picked up this from the garden section and it is a retractable hanger. So it has the uh, carabiner clips at both ends so that you can hang it up and this retracts so you can pull a flower pot down to water it and then it locks in place right there. Oh, I unlocked it. Okay. So once it goes up, you just double click it, I think, and then it locks itself in place. So we're going to give that a try. And I needed some of these. So 50 of the multi-purpose ties, uh, $1.25, and I saved my favorite item for last. So I picked up, I saw this, it's from Craft as well. I'm hoping to grab maybe three more of these and hot glue them side by side and then tall so I can make a nice big um, storage section. So this is plastic drawers organizer for $4. It's got a dozen. I'm going to put it up here so that you can see it. There are a dozen of these little drawers that pull out of each compartment. Each one has its own compartment so you can pull this one out without the stack falling and the handles on both sides clip up over the lid. So you've got a nice, tight storage, locked storage container. And I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking buttons, sequins, tacks, um, glitter, the little glitter packages that we get. All of these things would fit in these little drawers. I think this is going to be priceless when it comes to organizing my craft room when I, when and if I finally ever get it together. But these have a little flat, they have a little flat part on the front that will be easy to stick a little white label to. And these are fabulous. So I can't wait. Now they had a couple of these. I only grabbed one because I wanted to make sure that I like it and it's gonna do the job. And I plan on grabbing some more each time I go into Dollar, Dollarama. I was trying to remember if I was at Dollar Tree or if I was at Rama. So yeah, so the little drawers are going to be, they're just gonna be so helpful. That's actually my favorite item I think I've ever found in the storage items at the Dollarama. So I have one more item and this is a gift. I bought this for my grandson because I think he will enjoy it and it's a book. So this is it. 
That is so, so cute. And it says, it's it was $4. And it's, it's from a guy, it was written by a guy named Leaf Parsons. He grew up in Toronto. So this is a Canadian author. And I just want to show you a little bit of the inside of this book. So it starts like this, and then it has, I'll get up to the front of the book. So it starts with these cute illustrations and your story. Then it goes to another page of all of these little illustrations. Just phenomenal, all these so much to look at in here. It is just awesome. And then the next page goes to an illustration and, but, okay, this is upside down. This is sideways. This book goes all over the place. And every other page is another one of these massive illustrations. My grandson is just at that age. He is going to love this book. And it's called Only Fish Fall from the Sky. So that, that's just going to be fun. So that was my haul. That's everything that I got from the Dollarama this trip. Just that little few uh, craft items will have to go in my car. Not much. I wanted to keep what I was buying to take with me very small because I do have Dollaramas out there. If anything, I will try to pop into a Dollar Tree when I make my trip because as I'm going through Ontario, I will pass a few of those and I may stop and see what I can grab along the way. I have a list of items from the Dollar Tree that I want to shop for. So if, if I do that, I'll do a haul as soon as I get home and, uh, and I'll show you what I grabbed on my journey. Because once I hit Quebec and then New Brunswick, no more Dollar Trees. So, yeah, loving this. Absolutely loving this haul. Quite happy with everything I got. If you liked it, don't forget to go hit the subscribe button so you can come back and see what else I have to offer. And I will see you all in the next video. So, bye-bye for now, everybody. See you all in the next one. Thank you.